The acquisition of genetic data has undergone a phenomenal revolution in the last few years. To put that in perspective, it took the first human genome sequence, which was published about the turn of the century, it took that 10 years and hundreds of millions of dollars, whereas the currently it takes a couple of thousand dollars and a few days. We're all interested in the past and how genes vary in the past is interesting. There's really no substitute to going to material from the past itself. In other words, for looking at ancient or old or historical DNA. We look at bones and you can get DNA out of bones. But one of the problems with bones is that the DNA is not all terribly, not always terribly well preserved. Now, the thing about parchments is parchments are precious materials. Um, and as such, they've been kept in, be it libraries or archives or scriptoria. Parchments are made from animal skins. The main parchment animals are cattle, sheep and goats. And if one can get DNA out of them, then you're studying the past of those animals. And because they're domestic animals, you're studying something about the human past as well. Parchment is, is the stuff of history. It's, um, it's the writing material of choice for over a thousand years, uh, from the Dead Sea Scrolls onwards. Um, if you like, the, the whole uh, memory of Western civilization is hardwired into, into parchment. And this is an example of a small sliver from the edge of a parchment uh, of which we of the type we might use. This is modern parchment, um, not ancient parchment. And in fact, we would use uh, only a small fraction of this amount. And what we've been doing in this project is analysing manuscripts, particularly legal documents. And it turns out there's just thousands upon thousands, probably millions of these legal documents up and down the country in archives. They probably span about the last 1,000 years. And it turns out these are just an incredible genetic record of animal diversity, particularly the diversity of sheep. And so what we're hoping to do with this project is demonstrate the utility of those materials and then really try and encourage more people to come forward who've got old documents of gathering dust in the attic that we can take samples to analyse how and why sheep have changed over time. And in particular, actually, what happens in the 18th and 19th centuries when a passion for breeding and improvement occurs which probably wipes out most of the diversity that we see uh, in Britain for the last 3,000 years. This is certainly something we would hope to uh, bring further in the future. We'd like to do a whole plumb line down through the history of sheep genomes in Britain and ask what, what are the big changes in this key economic species um, in this place where it was the key economic animal. Uh, wool was the gold or, or, or the oil of, of the British economy for much of the last thousand years. So this isn't a peripheral economic study, it's quite central.